Sup guys, it's Groovy Domino 52 and today we're back here with another video. As you read in the title, I'm gonna show you how I compose B. So let's start from the very beginning, alright? So first of all, I saw this video on YouTube got recommended to me. Just a random video. It's real Minecraft B hours. This one this one had like two million views at the time and then I checked it out and I was like Oh, this is pretty cute. So this is just a B Minecraft animation based on the song Cats on Mars, which I see people using a lot. It's like a kind of a cute sounding music. And I was like, huh, you know what? I should make a cute song kind of like that as well. So I can get 2 million views on my video as well. <laughs> so just like one day, right, I was in the shower and then suddenly I was thinking about this video and then my brain kind of created the music from there like what kind of music would fit with a cute b and then you know after i took a shower i opened fl studio and started working on this uh song and then the melody i kind of just like it kind of just creates itself on the fly while i'm making the song you know a lot of people ask me like how do you write music and and how do you know like so c is followed by a b flat instead of b and then it sounds good how do you know that honestly i just don't know how to answer it because like i just make my songs based on what pops up into my head randomly so first thing i did before i actually made a music was actually like drawing the b and let me tell you i can't draw at all i'm not a visual artist or anything but i can't draw but yeah i could have easily just put the minecraft b in here and nobody would really care but i just wanted to try being original you know like all of the assets that will be used in the music video i wanted everything to be actually made by me from scratch because i think it's kind of cool like when you see that you've successfully made something by yourself it's nice but yeah i couldn't really <laughs> start drawing a b by myself so what i did <laughs> technically i still kind of did this by myself but i went into roblox studio because that's the only 3d program that I know how to use like I don't know how to use blender or, or unity so I went on Roblox studio so here's what I made in Roblox these are just like a bunch of balls you know <laughs> so yeah I just did that so that I could like kind of trace the drawing you know what I mean in Photoshop I just traced it and then I just added a few more details like the antennas and the face and the legs and then there you have it that's the bee <laughs> And you might notice that the yellow and black is inverted in this version. And the thing is with the B, I, I made this completely by memory. So it didn't click to me that the face should have been yellow and not black. Like I literally drew the whole thing and then I made the whole music video and it only hit me like after uploading the video. So I was like, uh, well, I guess it's already uploaded. So, so yeah, in the original, the face is black. Anyways, now let's get to the composing part. So like I said, in the shower, this music just popped up into my head. Like this part, as you can hear. So I just recreated that in the FL Studio, and then I kind of expanded it more. You gotta add, you gotta add a little bass in there, and some percussion. And then we have here the melody. So as you can see here, it has those cool slides, which is just the portamento. You can see I can play right now. You can hear that slide. Also, when this melody like popped up into my head, I was like, oh crap, it sounds similar to Do you remember the 21st night? You know, it kind of almost has the same notes. And yeah, my head just came up with other stuff that don't really sound like that song <laughs> but yeah i noticed that guys when i was first making that actually i don't know if anyone has noticed that let me check the comments but actually only two people noticed it which i'm surprised i thought there would be a lot more <laughs> i guess the final product was different enough that people wouldn't notice <laughs> i guess and of course in the second part we have harmony because man i love harmony I mean, come on, who doesn't? I guess people who are kind of tone deaf. And then we have here the third part. Um, this melody actually came from a different song that I made a few months before this B song. 
called You Were In My Room. And then after that, we have like a kind of solo part, which I really wanted to put, so... And this one's actually kind of cool. Let me solo that one out. Just some chip tune sounding arpeggios over there. Now I know a lot of people are asking what instruments did I use because they want to like recreate it or something. So a lot of these are just like presets from FL Studio. Like we have here this bass. It's just a preset from Styrus. It's over here deep. And you can hear it sounds exactly like that if I played on the piano. And then the bomb dun dun. It's just the Rhodes preset from Styrus again. And then we have here an 808 preset from FPC, which uh, <laughs> as you can tell just has some basic beats. I don't know, but that's kind of the style that I really wanted. I wanted to make a cute sounding um, lo-fi type beat. I don't know if you can call that lo-fi. I don't know. Just like chill, I guess. And then we have here the actual B sounds. Which is, um, a lot of, I see a lot of people in the comments saying it must be like a, a sine wave with some effects or it could be like the triangle wave from the NES. Um, not quite. So let me tell you, it's, it's <laughs> way simpler than that. It's literally just a triangle wave. That, that's it. <laughs> it's just a triangle wave. There's no like actual effects in this. This is just the triangle wave. And I'm using Serum for this, but I mean, you could just use like any triangle wave. It could be in this preset. This one has a triangle wave. You can use that. Look at that. It will sound the same. Right, wrong octave. See, look, and then you just gotta put the portamento option on. And there you go. You have the B sound. <laughs> and then the harmony parts are just a square wave at 12%, I think. I think the NES has that sound actually. Yeah, pretty close. Or no, it's because this one has a cutoff filter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's just that with a cutoff filter, I guess. So that it's not too harsh sounding. So yeah, a lot of these are just like chip tune sounds. <laughs> Basic sounds like squares and triangles. <laughs> There's nothing much to it. But yeah, this whole project is very basic very minimal mixing i think this is like one of the most simple songs that i've ever done <laughs> and i think that's what's cool about it actually because it's like so simple and chill sounding that it's kind of easy on the ears for a lot of people but yeah that's basically how i made b and i do want to thank everyone who supported the song b on youtube has 3.6 million views and 18.5 million on spotify which i never imagined i'm like what the heck and like more recently i've seen a lot of people that come from the b song like i've seen people who are genuine supporters of the the b song and didn't come from roblox nah, i don't know what to say it's, uh, it's it's epic but yeah if you're for some reason watching this and haven't checked out the b song already um it'll be in the description below Anyways, that's all I'm gonna have to say in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next
Thank you.